Yes, they do. You don't talk. How do you want Sometimes. to Sometimes. You, you have Tyler. one job, Tyler. and that's Tyler. to count the boobs Tyler. that are in this Tyler. movie. Tyler. <laughs> that was my Tyler. job. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. Oh, shit. Tyler. I left Tyler. my notes at home. Tyler. Look at that shit. Tyler. Tyler. How do you want to sound? Like a million dollars. No, okay. one of those people so that sound blacks like, out their face and not like be, an like, angel. just say anonymous. <laughs> or it was... I, you want me to be blackface? <laughs> no. No, you know, like, when they're in an interview and, like, they're completely shouted out and their voice is, like, Their, their, uh, I can their identification that. and voice have been Do you want to sound like that, Dylan? I can make their, you sound like that. identity. Tyler doesn't know what that is because he's always the pedophile that they're talking about on the TV. <laughs> I did not touch her. I did not. I did not. <laughs> well, hi, Mark. Well, hi, Mark. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's edition of the Posterman Podcast, already in session, talking about random nonsense, because that's what we do. I am Elijah. I'm Ken. Hello. He have good hair, and I'm Tyler. Lewis might randomly Show walk up. in. <laughs> Lord knows, because we were supposed to do his movie tomorrow, Here. but maybe we're doing it tonight. Who the hell knows anymore? Let, 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 me, let me pull this back up, because it was a good, <laughs> it was a good, good like note that I laughed at. What I did it? overtime of 6.30. Got home like 15 minutes ago. So tight, I could make it in time for a surprise. Lewis, uh, I don't know if you know how surprises work, but it's no longer a surprise. <laughs> what is a surprise is that you haven't showed up. But not really. He just texted us. He did? Yes. I'm go now going to mashed potatoes run and meat run. <laughs> if anyone wants to join. Lewis. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lewis, it is podcast time. No, just tell him no. Don't tell him that. Let the man go get mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, and, potatoes meat. and meat run. <laughs> he needs to get mashed potatoes and meat. He just wants mashed potatoes and meat? Uh, but we have a. Hey Google, what is meat run? Jimmy Cats. I'll see you guys. Google was thinking. Here is some information for what is Google Meet app. According to CNET, <laughs> Google's Meet video conferencing service is a Zoom competitor and is now free for everyone to use for personal video chats. That's love, the meat run. I love what your phone doesn't even understand you. <laughs> <laughs> because no one knows what a meat run is. <laughs> didn't understand you when you asked about buffalo. <laughs> it did. It told me specifically the difference between a buffalo and a bison. And what I was wrong. What is the difference? Google, what's the difference between a buffalo and a bison? According to Smithsonian's National Zoo, bison have large humps at their shoulders and bigger heads than buffalo. They also have beards as well as thick coats which they shed in the spring and early summer. Another simple way to tell a buffalo from a bison is to look at its horns. And I was wrong. He doesn't remember. Um, I don't remember. You're going to have to watch episode two when it comes out sometime this Bison week. Bison v. Buffalo. Um, that's another one of those bad movies on Amazon. Bison v. Buffalo. Um, but we're doing another user-picked movie from a while ago. And they joined us. And I forced him to join us <laughs> by strangling him. You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> so that we could yell at him all accordingly. Out now. <laughs> uh, oh no, we're gonna make you suffer. I Dylan, did write, I'm sorry. Dylan is here. <laughs> Dylan's here. Hello. I like picking on Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> that's because the, that's because that we don't pick on you. <laughs> we brought Dylan. You're with just us like you're just like remember, there's Dylan over there. <laughs> we brought Dylan with us to Oscar night, and I think I picked on Dylan. <laughs> All night long. We brought Dylan to Mystery Science Theater, and that's what you did, too. I did. <laughs> Except for when Ken Ken tried to rob the place with his knife. Ken tried to bring a knife into the joint. <laughs> <laughs> then me and Dylan just stood there. <laughs> then look I think we talked a little bit, and we are like, should we go in? I'm like, I don't know. I feel like if we go in, we'll lose him. Also, I don't know where we're sitting. <laughs> <laughs> That, he knew where he was sitting, though, until it did. I knew where I was supposed to sit. I didn't know where it <laughs> But you had the tickets. Just... I didn't know where to go. <laughs> but uh, he picked a movie that... <laughs> is special. Special. That's Highly a nice word. Came up four stars, you know. How many stars did that I have? I wanted to die. Uh, I don't know. 2.7. <laughs> Oof. Huh. What did Meet the Feebles have? 6.7. Yeah, oh, yeah it, had that crazy, it had that crazy high number. 6.3 or That's something right. like that. It tells you the witch was better, Elijah. I can't help that you have the sense of humor of other dumb people. <laughs> I, 
The movie spoke to me. Have we have we said the name of the movie yet? No. Uh, it is Bigfoot's Wild Weekend. Ken plot synopsis said cast. <laughs> I'm not doing the cast uh, because no no performer in this movie deserves to have a career. <laughs> The plot's not. Wait a minute! Oh, come on, lazy eyed hero. Wait a minute! Some of the ladies may have a professional career in porn. In pornography. (laughs) That's (laughs) They make money off of that. You show them the respect that they deserve. Then I think you should have Tyler read the cast list. But then I gotta get up and. Okay. A tabloid. <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Can't be a fun job. <laughs> a tabloid reporter makes a shocking cryptozoological discovery while investigating a recent rash of Bigfoot sightings in this comedy featuring beer, bikinis, and the wildest party animal. I didn't get to see the synopsis with the party animal. But no, summary is the summary is going to be more. Yeah, the summaries. Never mind that nonsense. The summaries are always Sorry, longer. Dad. Never mind this. that nonsense. Where's the this is always this is always full and complete. Oh, I thought the dot 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 the ellipses meant that there was more. No, because the implication is that the wildest party animal is Bigfoot, but it is doesn't it need to say it. Bigfoot's and the biggest perk. I, I don't think Bigfoot <laughs> is the biggest party <laughs> animal. In this yeah. movie, cast I list. really don't. I can do this. Uh, cast list. Here don't you read go. them all. I'm only gonna read the women. <laughs> nah, I want to see if you can figure out. What to <laughs> Nikki Parsno, Cody Shane Tate, Kim Liacano, Kimberly Liacano. Wait, what? <laughs> Patty is on here twice. <laughs> so is Kim. <laughs> Uh, Brie Rose. In the middle of the movie, she became Kimberly and then Kim. Jessalyn Michelle Sanaz. Sainz. Sainz. Aja. No, that's not even one. <laughs> that is Tiffany. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't even see that part. Aja. <laughs> Kachas. <laughs> I also right. like that you stood up and you have a phone right. that you can do this on. All right. All right, Tyler, go back to your seat now. Go back, oh. go back to your chair. Am I allowed to go back you're to my seat? Fi- yes, you're fired. Yes, you can go you're back to your seat. You're fired from what you were doing. I'm, I'm okay. back on the other side, but damn So if all. anybody wants to join along in this grand adventure, you all can Please watch don't. it on Amazon Prime. Please don't. Please do. <laughs> Start it now. Fuck you, Dylan. <laughs> don't put yourself through that shit. <laughs> They're full of it, guys. Just give it a try. We'll wait for Tyler's four and a half star <laughs> review like you gave Meet the Feebles. <laughs> it was three. No, you got like four. It was a three. It, it was, was a three. three. It was a three. Oh. One person and one person alone will give this movie a good rating. And he's up next. <laughs> I'm going to give it a three. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I sometimes don't remember. We we both <laughs> we both rated it less than one. We did like two. You, we both did like two point, point two five. He rated it a three. If you watch it on YouTube... At the very end of it, it's like a negative four something or something like that. What, when you add all ours together? Yeah, it's it's ne- it's like a negative point four five or something like that. Because okay. I gave it a three. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? I don't. Oh, cause I also gave it don't minus. know yeah, if he I. Gave it, he gave it a negative number. I also don't know if I did math right. So. Oh, I'm 100 percent sure you probably. Didn't. I probably <laughs> fucked up math, which is hilarious. You can't add. You can't subtract. You can't talk. I don't know. So if you go and watch it, my please first comment. note reads. Okay. Kinky Balboa. That was Elijah's nickname in high school. Yeah. You said that out loud. I did say it out loud. Most of kids don't say it out loud. Not not most of them, but when I make good jokes like that one. Uh. This is not the same scene. They thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. They're not in the same scene because it kept cutting to different that times. Happened of day. That happened a lot through this so movie. so much that it's not nuts. But the movie opens with them, with a guy fishing and just random naked women in a lake pond water where they can stand. But yet we got to go on our knees because we need some water shots. <laughs> we had two TT counts at that point. Uh. <laughs> oh. It's daylight. You can clearly see that's not a man in a coat, because the Bigfoot it shows up over <laughs> over the aforementioned uh, n- half naked, mostly naked women in the in the the creek. Yeah. And they're like, "Hey, you should take that coat off and come down here and join us." But it's 
it's obviously Bigfoot. Like, and it's daylight outside. There's no reason for them to think that it's a dude in a coat. Yep. Not a dude in a coat. I have Hey Stranger, famous yes. last words, and that guy is not wearing a coat. It is daylight. <laughs> You had something? What, li- uh, Dylan? Spit out. <laughs> well, what I had written for that first part was, um, is this a porno? It, it is. Not I, yet. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, throughout the whole movie, I'm like, all right, I'm just waiting for it to turn into one. <laughs> You're waiting for you to accidentally have rented the porno? Yeah, all like, right, it's time to spank it. <laughs> like, He's sitting there just waiting. He's like, hey, no. <laughs> Where's my lotion? No, <laughs> no it's not lotion time. First time I saw this. My buddy and I were like, let's try to find the worst movie on Amazon we can and just make fun of it. And it was between Bigfoot's Wild Weekend and the Bunny Man Massacre. <laughs> and I was like, Bigfoot's Wild Weekend looks like we can get a little more entertainment out of this. And then watching it, I'm like, oh, please tell me I just can put a horn on my mistake. <laughs> this is about that. Uh, <laughs> Every also, movie is better with boobs, Dylan. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not arguing. Then your argument is valid that this movie's better than Meet the Feebles because it has boobs in it. There was boobs in Meet the Feebles. <laughs> Just not as many. Not and as they many. were fake. Well, it still counted. they were made out of foam. It still in counted. this one, they are... They could be made out of silicone. <laughs> they, they might not be 100% sent they real. They didn't look fake. But they were at least attached to human ladies. There was 100% some of them that were fake. Look, there's no way any of those girls made enough money in the, to get in this film to have fake titties. <laughs> but maybe they had the fake titties before this film. Yeah. Well, then they've really hit hard times. They did. They ended up at Bigfoot's Wild Weekend. Now they're going to have to sell their fake boobs. <laughs> to pay for That the girl is wearing a wig? Yep. She thought we wouldn't notice, but, but we, we did. did. Um... Oh, this movie totally wasn't made by a man. <laughs> Oh, wait, it was it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, this movie was definitely made by a man. That's my next note. Because there's just scenes when you're like, clearly, this was made by somebody that knows absolutely nothing about women. And or also, lesbians. Or anything. And also, <laughs> or how sex works. And also, <laughs> clearly... Especially this, lesbian sex. This, this movie was made by a lady with... Or by a man with certain foibles because he the, the, the shots are, are often framed weirdly. Mm-hmm. Like, wait, why is one girl center of frame and the other girl half cut off? Why not shift the frame slightly to the left and both girls are in frame? Oh my goodness! Why? Why? <laughs> why? I have something similar that comes up a little later in that. We'll hit the lesbian sequence and that'll be where that goes. <laughs> oh god, um, I'm so angry at that. <laughs> also, <laughs> the acting is awful. Oh yeah. Oh, that's this, that's my. I have that written down. I here. think also, that's what made me want to die awful. the most. <laughs> what that our hero is the worst <laughs> hero that, that has ever. It, no, the act, acting that's in my general. Ne- my next note is is about our hero. So there if must. You've, if you've anything to say about that before we get to the hero. No, I have. There's must. There must have just been one mic in this whole the project because they have terrible sound quality throughout this whole movie like one person is loud then another person's like eh, I don't know. I'm like this could mean that they're either A recording off the camera mic B they have one mic that they're like trying to get in there and they're like eh. well <laughs> and it could be that that's why some of those conversations are filmed obviously so close <laughs> well no obviously this is like it's this side of the conversation and then that side of the conversation filmed on different days at different locations then we meet our hero who works for the tabloids who i took some of the names from off the wall from the from the uh not names the article headlines that's Um, it (laughs) jersey devil twins (laughs) stole beer and then like it was ufos and they also stole beer i was like huh main focus of this movie is beer and boobs i like beer and boobs then i don't know why you didn't like this movie tyler i got plenty of reasons why it's redneckery afoot um, in this entire process. Uh, <laughs> ah, Harlan Jane James, our hero? <laughs> well, nope. Definitely our spaz. <laughs> Where is he looking? 
He's not looking towards the boss's desk. Oh my god! Why couldn't they have been in the same frame? I don't usually <laughs> notice or care about such things. But wow. Where are There's you looking, James? Empty space on just one side <laughs> yeah. of the screen. He's just like on this li just a little part of yeah. I'm just like, this is bugging me. So, yeah, and, and like, cause like there's, shot. and this happens over and over and over again in this movie, mm -hmm. where conversations are happening, and it's <laughs> half of the conversation is in one shot, the other half of the this conversation is... is in the other shot. Never are the two in the same shot, this unless is... they're in bed together. This is like high school basics. Like when I was in school, doing like journal, like school journalism. You did school journalism? I did. I was really good with the camera and editing. Well, you do edit our podcast, so I probably shouldn't make fun of you. Um, you shouldn't. <laughs> I hated being on the camera, but um, like the it would bug me if I did not have people perfectly in frame. Like I would get mad if my like student reporter would move away from somebody and I'd have to move the camera. Like it was always. 100% good to go. And I hated when people looked at the camera and be like, stop looking at me. Don't look at me. I'm not here. I don't exist. Just talk to him. <laughs> yes. Just talk to me. James, he is over there. You, on your right, he you're could, looking to your left. He couldn't talk. <laughs> uh, one little question. The boss. Is that John Goodman? No. <laughs> <laughs> no it's not. Cheap, cheap man. What John is with Goodman? you and John Goodman? <laughs> it just happened. Dylan I once saw before. John Goodman. Not even close. I'm pretty sure I saw him. At Hershey Park. <laughs> no, he 100% saw him. There was a guy. He was fat. He was fat. He was at Hershey Park. So 95% of Hershey Park. <laughs> He looked pretty good. Must have been John baby. Goodman. <laughs> Looks like a duck. Walks like a duck. You probably saw Tyler at Hershey Park. <laughs> That's rude. I'm not that bad. <laughs> That's rude. I rode my bike here. I'm being healthy today. How's all that beer? <laughs> I'm delicious. He's burning off the calories that he's drinking by riding his bike. Mm. This Rock. movie had such Rock. bad cuts and transitions that it looked like they just like got the free version of like whatever Microsoft had on there. It was like, here's how we edit. Beat Windows transition. DVD. Slide. <laughs> Slide. Swipe. Swoosh. Black. <laughs> Wait a minute. Th that hobo is a professor? Because <laughs> uh, they bring like a guy there to measure the foot. Oh, yeah. And I was like, that well, guy looks like brings, a hobo. Yeah, okay. I have... I have before the, well it's fine never mind uh, what was your uh, note before no it doesn't matter uh, six full grown adult females gear for a weekend question mark and no food cause it's oh I didn't write that note it's the, the, the track team that we didn't talk about before I, I thought because I, they're I, not really important to the story they are important to the story if I, Ken. I only drank one of these I would burn it off on my bike ride home unfortunately unfortunately I'm on number two <laughs> you've started the second one so it's done. not gonna happen and I'm almost done with the second but I did not bring a third so we are good um so so the the, the track team the well we did talk about she she that girl's wearing a wig she thought we would notice but we oh did. yeah um that, track she's, team she's part of the track team and the track team is going on this camping trip for the weekend so it's the four girls with the, the headmistress the teacher and the security guard but then only like two of them, have, like three of the girls are actually like doing sports, and one of them was just sitting on the bench. It doesn't matter. It does. They were track. <laughs> if we're saying what? it's the track team, they it all doesn't. Have been I don't track. know what they were. I don't know what they it were. It was a for, reform school. For remember? All we know, what was, it was what Hyman's was the reform the, school. That's right. It was Hyman's. It was Hyman's. I can't believe you remembered that. <laughs> How would I not remember you that? You don't remember what you had like for lunch the other day when I, I asked you. I did forget just... about my French fries <laughs> in one yet, episode. And yet, and yet you should sit here and remember the Hyman reform school from a week ago. <laughs> Um, My brain works in weird ways, Elijah. I can't control it. <laughs> but so maybe it's the entire student body. I don't know. It's the four. <laughs> I don't know. But what did Goody Two Shoes get into Hyman Reform School for? Murder. That's, murder. That's okay. Good. All right. <laughs> I choose not to speculate on the backstory of. 
I kind of want to make the a students of the Hyman Conservatory for gifted youngsters or whatever the hell it was. I created. Well, they were they not were gifted. gifted. <laughs> <laughs> um, None of them were gifted. It's not the Xavier School. <laughs> um, <laughs> They're New Mutants. <laughs> <laughs> That's the New Mutants movie. Is all them. <laughs> They're all in it. Get but prepared for a giant steamy pile of shit. <laughs> all six of these females load up into the minivan. Yeah. And it's a minivan, and everybody gets out. And a couple of them have duffel bags, and there's tents and stuff. But there's no coolers of food. There's, you know, there's just not enough stuff for. Six people in a weekend. One moment. Yes. Security guard, bitch lady. Yes. Made fun of them for not being, being able to make a tent. That's true. We She started fiddling with the tent. We cut away. We cut back, and all three of them are still, like, befuddled. No tent. That was supposed to be the joke. It was a bad joke. Yeah, that's why I just didn't laugh at that joke. <laughs> My joke is later in the movie. Um, he brings a magnifying glass, no plaster, no camera. Yep. This guy's incompetent. <laughs> the, crypto, the cryptozoologist professor guy? Would that be me? What, the guy no. who brings nothing? The seriously unprepared guy? No, I voted you as the guy that can't look at the right direction on the camera, our hero. <laughs> That's hurtful, after what I just said about you the camera. You get laid in the movie, so let's just give it that. All right. <laughs> uh, Ken's the friendly bartender. And <laughs> sweet. sweet. That's, that, that's fair. Uh, Who are you? I'm dead hobo on the corner. Are you the fat stripper? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I have to laugh at that. That was a good one. <laughs> well done. Well done. I can accept that one. <laughs> Why is the spaz trying to ingratiate himself with uh, bikers? Oh, all he wants is a high five and a fist bump. <laughs> From them. Yeah, I don't know, but like, why? Because he wants to be friends. He needs to get information. He's trying He's trying to be a reporter. He's getting in. Well, that's fine. If he wants to be a, if he wants to be a reporter, he should be like, Hey guys, I'm a reporter with this, this, uh, our, th this, this, this agency, that's it. This organization. You know, I have some questions. Would you like to answer them? I would like to do an interview. Are, are, you, are you available? That's how you, as a professional journalist, but as a get people to talk to you. But as a spaz, you walk up to the bikers, obviously not I, a biker, <laughs> and... How'd you know he wasn't a biker? I think what he drove, he walked over. He had a giant tattoo when we later saw him. Though he either. walked over, he was wearing a button up. Yeah, what's your point? Khaki pants. I still don't see. And the his point. haircut looked like he should belong in early days of Fallout Boy. Pee Wee Herman wrote him. Well, this is this movie was made in two thousand six, so that'd be all right. Two 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 thousand twelve. Excuse me. So that'd be all right. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, we get into the bar, and okay. everything, and every brand name is barely covered with tape. That's Sorry. how we fixed a lot of things, and it bothered me. <laughs> That's how we solved a lot of the problems. It's basic editing. You just blur it out, <laughs> or barely just cover it, or, or you strip the stickers off, <laughs> or you just make no, your own dummy labels and put them on there. You know, like it's not because it probably was actually a functioning bar that he was actually in. So Fair. It, so they probably didn't want their stickers ripped off of it that they had to buy more. So they were just like, you put a piece of tape across it. Well, that or you just put, you just make little. We just make fake ones, right? Yeah. You you make you find you know, you your take... favorite five year old and you're like, hey, color this blue, color this green, color this red. It's not like we needed any more. Yes, truth. Like well, like five more dollars for like a Kinkos thing print off would have been easy. Yeah. Just tape, tape, tape. And that 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 one cup. It looked like it was trying to eat a fruit roll-up, and it gave it trouble. Because it had all the colored tape around it. What the hell is he talking about? I don't know. You've never <laughs> seen a fruit roll-up? I, I don't it. know what you I've seen a what? fruit roll-up, Tyler. Okay, it's colorful, right? Thank you. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. They had a cup where they put tape on it, too, but it looked like colored electrical tape. That's probably what it was. Yeah. So I wanted to be creative and say it looked like it was trying to eat a fruit roll-up, and it gave it trouble. 
Just put your head back down until we didn't talk to you again. We just, <laughs> we just, we don't remember that cup, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't notice the cup. No, I noticed the it cup. It didn't make an impression. Well, you fucked up in telling those rednecks about the Bigfoot <laughs> after the sheriff said, please don't tell anybody about this. Yeah, but he had already told people, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was like, well, I told the town. Did you say 25 grand? <laughs> <laughs> the, the second worst actors of the movie. <laughs> And you said um, 25 grand. No, no, I'm sorry. The the, the high school girls. <laughs> the emptiest second. strip joint ever. Was it the most movie? scariest? It wasn't, it wasn't uh, strip, joint strip joint ever. But I want to say scariest. It doesn't matter. Elijah's scene is here. But this is before. This was before I realized what we were getting ourselves into. <laughs> In, 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 in hindsight, <laughs> in hindsight, yes, scariest, worst, most awful strip joint ever would be better. But if it, if it was supposed to be a strip joint, there were not enough patrons. It looked like if you went to the Elks Club, <laughs> but the Elks Club was on hard times, so it was like half YMCA, half Elks Club. Like no, they just, put a divider like... in it. And, like, the YMT only had, like, cycling. But I will tell you, there's a place almost exactly like that in Perry County. Well, I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> they serve bunny burgers. <laughs> serve bunny burgers? <laughs> Never had a bunny burger? <laughs> oh, they're delicious. Oh, God. <laughs> they offer you spam there. They do Speaking offer of... you spam. I know where Joe's <laughs> talking about. <laughs> I forget the name of the place. But you can go up the road here. <laughs> oh, God. Uh... Ling's Italian and Chinese restaurant. Ooh, a coupon. Uh, <laughs> the the say, fat lady beat the hell out of the other two for. Hold on. They, they <laughs> say the show is about to start. I was like, wait a second. The show is about to start. The show's been going on in the background for this whole sequence. <laughs> and and, to, to, like, and more, it was over. more incomprehensible, incomprehensible shot framing because they make it a point to the dancing... <laughs> not even a little bit attractive women in the background <laughs> and they did the thing I hate no, that, no this is while they're talking it's before we get to the useless shot of them dancing again oh, it's, while, there, it's, while, it's while the sheriff and the guy are talking literally right behind them is the exact same strip show <laughs> yes <laughs> it's not really a strip show okay this the, the burlesque dance quote 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 yes yeah. because they them. start they start in bikinis and they end in bikinis. No clothing is added or subtracted. I really thought I was going to see more titties. And I was actually disappointed that it didn't happen. I'm like, Why this is just fine. They were, they were the ugliest women. I'm just saying, when you are at that point, that would be the most appropriate point to be like, look at my boobies. That's true, other than the random yeah. river scenes that we're getting to here shortly. Or they, but... There was just a useless strip dance that we then decided to go, like, strobe shots? Yeah, weird grainy oh my filter, God, weird I hate cuts, that. and it ends in a chick fight over a certificate for a free entree at the... Two at things. The Italian Chinese, Chinese fusion place. Chinese, uh, Link's Chinese Italian restaurant. Two things. They did the stupid camera angle I hate where you tilt the camera 45 degrees, uh -huh. and they used a stupid film grain, cho like choppy frame rate that yeah, well, I hate. It's just it's just weird stupid cuts where you just like yeah you just kind of basically you like instead of like your 35 frame rate it drops it so it looks choppy it is it is awful and the most and pain, I hate it it is the most painful sequence in this whole movie with painful sequences <laughs> It, it doesn't get me. any better, that's for sure. Oh, no. um, I wrote after the scene ended was, please forgive me. <laughs> what was the movie we watched, Elijah, where like the, the building blew up and it was like really bad CGI? It was... It was like number three of its kind. Where you had to save Morgan Freeman, the president. Oh, what, um, Angel is Fallen. Angel is Fallen, yeah. Where it had where that they ran terrible, out of, Where they ran out of money. And, and the, they had that the terrible movie CGI, terribly CGI. Dust and smoke. That's what it reminded me of. I'm like, God damn it, I hate this. <laughs> where literally you could see the movie's budget just was like, eh, we got five more dollars. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I gotta pay that to, to, to that guy. To, the, to Morgan. Morgan's still doing this. Uh, <sighs> He's not going to be a kind will. Here's the rest of the money. <laughs> yeah. Is this a student film or something? 
I don't know. Look at trivia. <laughs> I'm not looking at trivia. I'll look at it. <laughs> no. I I'll not. do it. This movie has already gotten more of my time than it deserves. <laughs> Tyler, get the Wikipedia up and then see what was, see how it was made. Because um, it's not rated, so it was never released um, anywhere. This movie is totally created by a guy who knows absolutely nothing about lesbian sex and absolutely nothing about how lesbians act. They are not having sex, and yet they are the loudest uh, lesbians yeah. I've ever That made me so <laughs> Wait, mad! We, we're way ahead here. Oh, sorry. I skipped lots of Ken's notes. Um, well, no, I just, I know I, I know I... You have something before I the lesbian, a, lesbian sex. I oh. have a... Update! I do. Please hold. We're waiting for Ken's information <laughs> first. Oh, no, it was just two notes. It's just two notes. I have two notes. Are they good notes? I think so, yes. That will read Tyler's thing first. IMDb. Tyler, no. It looks like we don't have any trivia on this title yet. <laughs> Not IMDb, Wikipedia. <laughs> I'm getting back to it. I will inform you all. Really? For <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> Impossible. <I can't sighs> say that. This is why we don't bring Tyler. I did first that note. for one okay. reason. <laughs> first note. Why did they cut four times while the rednecks <laughs> were loading their guns into the bag? Like, all, they're, all that's happening is the rednecks are loading guns into a duffel bag. That's all that's happening. And they cut four times. Mm. Like, they'll pick one up, and the next thing you know, they've got another one in their hands, and that one was in the bag. And it's just, oh, it's just, it's awful. Like, it's stupid, <laughs> needless, and ridiculous. Um, and My favorite part uh, is none of those guns make an appearance again. My next, my next, uh, how do they know that Bigfoot has a very distinct odor? <laughs> What? True. How do they, they talked about what? it in the one, um, the girls in the reform school in her book that she had. She was like, apparently he has a very distinct yeah. How do they know? But how does he, they know? Could ever see the Bigfoot? I don't know. <laughs> they, they've never taken a photo of it, but they've gotten close enough to sniff the thing. What? <laughs> what? Hey well, Bigfoot, actually... open up your legs. Let me take a whiff. <laughs> <laughs> actually, now that you bring up the odor thing, oh, in boy. different. Any kind of, uh, I've seen it before where they just talk about Bigfoot. They're always like, he has an odor, but I don't they know just, where. They odor just assume because he's lived <laughs> in the woods that he just smells. It's this big hairy guy, and he hangs out, and it has to be there summer. He obviously doesn't have soap. So uh, she was auditioning for a porn. She thought we wouldn't notice, <laughs> but, but we did. did. That's the weird lesbian sex. lesbian sex scene where all they're doing quote, is quote, lesbian all she's sex. all she's doing is. They, they, they started out kissing, they lay back, she's like kissing her neck, and the girl's like panting like she's having an orgasm. But it's a really bad fake porn orgasm. <laughs> it's the dumbest scene. It's, it's ridiculous. It's my favorite oh, letterbox review. They are. What I, That's not... Go ahead. Go. Uh, I wonder how much they all got paid to do this movie. Did they get paid to make this movie? They're just friends of friends. <laughs> um, I, I would not be surprised if no one was paid. No. If there was not a lot like, of money paid to the actors in this movie. There is no wiki for Bigfoot's Wild Weekend. Oh, what a time to make one. <laughs> what a Dylan, get on that shit. I'll get on it. Until it has all this free time to make a Bigfoot's Wild Weekend. I need a backstory <laughs> for... And whatever I forgot that we needed characters. a backstory for. I already so forgot it. The, why, why the four girls are, are, are uh, oh, yeah. attending the Hyman report. And why was this movie right? made? Was it a student film? Was it oh, that's what film? I was looking yeah. for. Yeah, if it was a student film. Like, yeah. why was this movie Get on that created? shit. <laughs> Make it up if you have to. Tell people you'll give them $25,000. I'm just going to figure out who, who made this so I can get royalties for promoting your movie. <laughs> By having more people watch it than ever. I'm saving the letterbox review to include with That's my fine. review. You could, you could save that. That's, That's fair. That's fine. Please do. <laughs> um, sweet Ride. It's a cop car. It looks like a cop car. From the it, 50s. It's still a cop car. I don't know why we're impressed with the cop car. You know the Andy Griffith it's a, show? It's a cool old car. You know the Andy Griffith show? Maybe it's because I don't care about cars. That's where they got that car from. <laughs> the Andy Griffith show? Yes. If they got that, they paid too much. I have <laughs> I have bad camera in back of the police car. We should be cutting, not swinging back and forth between. Oh my god. Like, like I st talk about, especially, and this is, this <laughs> is after I had just lamented the fact right. that they cut four times while putting guns in the bag. And now all of a sudden we're in the back of the, the police car and they're having a conversation and we're literally swinging the camera back and forth between when it should be, okay, this person's talking, cut, this person's talking, cut, this person, you know, and if you have to like, like drag out the dialogue and make it unnatural on the day, 
it doesn't matter because it'll play out fine when it's done. Instead of you having to swing back and forth, it's, it's, oh, it's awful. It's just awful. But Ken, I figured out how they got the Bigfoot odor. Uh huh, how'd they get the Bigfoot odor? Um, as uh, the guy, as we interview, as we meet the love interest, uh huh, the news reporter lady, we're talking to the local crazy scientist hobo man, uh huh, and he states that he lived with Bigfoots for a while, so he, yeah, but I thought he that. was talking out his ass. He very well might have, but he also is insane, and the movie's stupid. That's so. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he might have written the book. He was, he was insane, Grandpa. Are we sure he didn't make the movie? <laughs> he might have. He might have made the movie, wrote that book that the girl was reading. <laughs> Because yeah. that was not a real book either. There's a bigger plot. It just says either. cryptics, and then it just has all that. <laughs> so, so they can make uh, a fake book, but they got to put duct tape over the soda. Well, book yes. cover's easy. You can get yeah. just a paper bag from the local <laughs> grocery store and tie that. Uh, and yeah, and that you, write, you write in Sharpie. And then you cover color it black and then write in Sharpie cryptics. <laughs> um, and they cut away from the handshake between the journalists because there's the local... Oh yeah, the local on-scene news reporter lady, and she meets up with, or the, the sheriff introduces her to uh, Spazzy Magoo, the the tabloid journalist Spazzy who's, Magoo. who's who's <laughs> I love his name. Is now Spazzy Magoo. <laughs> <laughs> and then all I will have is bad editing, bad, bad. Yeah, because the editing. handshake was like in progress yeah. and then cut. Right. <laughs> yeah, like it didn't fully happen. No, nope. it was in progress and then cut. It was a bad cut. Uh, and the old cute professor is telling stories. I have the quote that the girl said after the fact. He's nuttier than squirrel poop. Oh, yeah, she did say that. <laughs> I've never actually seen squirrel poop. As many that run around in my yard, I have to actually question. Do squirrels, Do squirrels poop? Squirrels poop. <laughs> if a tree falls in the, woods, in the woods and no one's around, does it make a sound? Yes. Does a bear shit in the woods? Exactly. <laughs> I have a picture of a bear shitting in the woods. You would. And yet you sit here and wonder why I sit here and go, maybe he doesn't, Hold maybe on. he would like this movie. Is it framed? No. <laughs> ah, he would. <laughs> he would. You just don't know what you have stuffed in your house. <laughs> it's not in my house. It's not your family's house. <laughs> oh, when my dad dies, I'm inheriting that squirrel and he's going right on the fucking wall. There's a taxidermy squirrel in his house. Look, this squirrel. I asked my dad about this because it is kind of funny. Did he did it shit? <laughs> I don't know. I should ask him. That. I was about to say that he would have anyways, your answer to your question. He shot this squirrel right, and it like fell down through the tree and got stuck up there. He had to walk through this creek, climb up the tree, and get this squirrel. And he's like, "Man, that was a lot of work for this squirrel. I think I'm gonna mount him." <laughs> and he's on a little. He's on a little piece of wood. He's like crawling it with a with a well. There used to be an acorn in his mouth, oh, but it, it fell out. Like... So he just looks mad. He just looks like this <laughs> mad, mean squirrel. Like, don't fuck with me. He's cool looking like squirrel. <laughs> I think it's cool. If you've seen mouse poop, squirrel poop is similar, only bigger. Mm -hmm. We interneted this. Just then, then <laughs> I googled it. Then that's probably why I'm not seeing squirrel poop. Yes. Enter Dylan's favorite characters. Yes. The Hicks. My family. <laughs> <laughs> the incestual there. family of doom. Wow. I was surprised. That was rude. I skipped over the naked women. Well, I was... Gonna, I was, was I, my, my question was, was Bigfoot just jacking off watching the girls? If he wasn't before, he definitely is now. He very well might have been. That was an unanswered question. Oh. I do have he was huffing and puffing in those woods for a while. When yeah, the, it's, it's weird. When the one girl runs off from the group and Bigfoot just decides to... Yeah, help. Take advantage. Uh -huh. I thought she had every right to punch Bigfoot. She did. <laughs> that's yeah, that's my Bigfoot purse. Got got I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know no, you. That's, that's my, my purse. purse. <laughs> I was gonna say, and they're laying the redneck on nice and thick because they get to the hillbilly and his inbred son. I love them. Yep. Yep. I told you he did. Boy, half dozen naked ladies come running by, and you're staring at me. There's no way he came from these loins. God damn it, Dylan! <laughs> I hear that daily. <laughs> Weekly. Daily. Monthly. Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> um, you 
should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> Whenever there's just a lull or a conversation, he just says that. There's no way you came from these things. Let's have that written down. His favorite line was just spoken. <laughs> I mean, we've said worse things, but not because of movies that were terribly bad to each other during downtimes. I know Mike has said terrible things. Mike always says terrible things. But but we've never quoted a really shitty movie <laughs> to be untrue. comedic. Untrue. Um, when? Oh, hi, Mark. Oh. <laughs> you just did it. I think there was one when I walked in. All the time. <laughs> I quote bad movies all the time. The we, Meg is a bad movie. We it's great, but it's a bad movie. Quote that movie, though. What, The Meg? Yeah. Oh, I just make up lines, I guess. It's goddamn Megalodon. Yeah, I was about to say, I'd say that. <laughs> it's goddamn Megalodon. He doesn't really say goddamn, he just says it's a Megalodon, it's a Megalodon. but I keep adding that in mm-hmm. there for whatever reason. Uh, my favorite joke is now coming up. Uh, okay. <laughs> the, they're having a motocross event. Oh yeah, and there's a sign that says that says motocross event today, and it has a little thing in the corner that says kids welcome, and then it pans over, and there's a little jeep that comes across with the other motocross yeah, vehicles. Yeah, it's little power wheels. It's little power wheels jeep, and I laughed at that. <laughs> and I laughed at that both times I watched it. It's my favorite joke in the whole movie. <laughs> oh my god. Uh huh. Relax. <laughs> it's a. It's something. I forget what I have. It's famous last words. I forget them because that's the that's before this is they a need. Shortcut. Yeah, it's, it's a shortcut. shortcut. That's shortcut. it. <laughs> it's a shortcut. Famous last words. Yes. From that couple. Yes. Oh, there was a commercial that um, said something like that, and I just can't remember what it was, and I wanted to like comment on it and beat you to the punch, and now I've ruined everything with my like stupid comment. not joke. I would like to comment again that you remembered the Hyman Reform School, <laughs> and yet you can't remember that. <laughs> Um, they aren't in the same scene at all yet another cut between two because they're the clearly different sunlights the, the conversation between the inbreeders and the off-road couple aren't even filmed at the same time and now they're together and it's a completely different day uh, come oh, up. come on guy. come on people you guys are smarter than this don't have sex while the inbred white people are two feet away The low light work in this movie is terrible. You can barely tell what's going on. Yeah, that when it's dark, it is dark because they didn't want to buy lights. <laughs> uh... So they're just using probably like the mic, the camera. <laughs> they're using the light on the camera. Uh, and then I have the music in this movie is driving me nuts. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Is you gotta that... <laughs> at least enjoy it. the cartoon sound effects. Every time the two rednecks are on screen, everything they do, they, there's just some little sound effect. No, I don't day. have to. <laughs> no. Well, let's let's go on the it's one. It's stupid. Guy, let's go on the one. Ki- the kid's it's name. stupid. The kid's name, Billy Bo Bob. <laughs> He's got three first names. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you wrote that. Wrote that down. I did. I was like, well, hold on. <laughs> I'm writing down his name, Billy Bo Bob. Billy Bo Bob. Billy Bo Bob Bigfoot. Well, see, I think they're... Spoiler like, alert, everybody. <laughs> they they lay on the, like, hillbilly redneck thing. Like, they lay that on really thick, and they try, they're try they trying to make that it make it that it's funny. Mm-hmm. It's not. But the, it's not. The scene between the couple and the rednecks, is this when he tells the story about... Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's when he tells the stupid story that we weren't paying attention to. What story? I the forgot. The, 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 the hillbilly redneck is telling the story about the Bigfoot and why he hates Bigfoot. Because it killed his brother or something? Oh, yeah, something sodomy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The Bigfoot <laughs> sodomy oh, story. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then the Yeti. <laughs> We need a Yeti. We were not, we were We've not had two attention. movies in a row with sodomy. With sodomy. <laughs> one, had a, one had a musical number, though, so. And let me tell you, it wasn't Bigfoot's Wild Weekend. <laughs> What? The musical number the musical of Sodomy number was sodomy way better now. than Bigfoot's Sodomy. We were at 1.5 speed at that point, so <laughs> you we missed weren't going back. Out. <laughs> Truth. Okay, you can have the DVD. You can take it home and you can watch it whenever you want. Oh, I will. I'll watch it tonight. All right. Why not bump, watch bump, 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 He doesn't bump. have Amazon Prime. <laughs> he doesn't pay for lights. <laughs> I have lights. <laughs> um... So, did she have sex with Bigfoot? 
no, no bandage for the shotgun wound. Uh huh. That's my first note. My second note is wait, she had sex with Bigfoot? <laughs> did she? Yeah. What? She did. <laughs> didn't notice at all. Like, hmm, you're real furry. <laughs> Where's that Bigfoot odor? <laughs> Where's the Bigfoot odor? See, that would have been a perfect time to drop the... Oh, and you smell better. Did you... <laughs> Where's that Bigfoot odor? <laughs> she did say he smelled bad. Yeah, she said did it she... when he walked in. Yeah, yeah. You, need a, you need a shower. But it, but it wasn't, like, overpowering. Like, I feel like the book would... Do, it, like, the people made like it the sound. Book would, like, the book would describing an odor that's like, whoa. Whereas, like, if she was, at, like, if she was having sex with Bigfoot... That meant that the odor was not that bad. <laughs> that meant that it was just like, man, you're but, hot today. <laughs> but right. there may have been another smell that canceled it out. Skunk. <laughs> but the but the uh, and the, the flip side of that is when he comes, when he comes back. Oh, Dylan. <laughs> and she's like, something smells fishy. When did you when like like she's telling him like when did you get so big and he's like I've always been that big baby and it's like and you don't smell as bad and please take off the brown coat like yeah. And he's not noticing the fact that. I mean, there's... he did decide to take a shortcut when he could have stayed with the group. Fair point. I mean, and... idiocy is a terrible thing. Um, my next note is. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I can handle another thirty minutes of this. <laughs> I think at that point I said I want to die. You wanted it at one point five at that point. I had to say I'm sorry again. Yeah. Oh yeah, because I was like, <laughs> "Can we speed this up?" And you're like, "Nope." I'm like. I want to die. It's not a DVD. I can speed this up is... DVDs and Blu-rays. Can't speed up this. Can't speed up Amazon Prime. I cannot take any more. I want to die. Uh, the news lady wants some of that D. That's what I have written down next. When she's hitting on the news reporter at the I mean, bar. She's kind of cute. I'd give her some D. Uh, do you have notes before that? Yeah, well, I have the only guns in this town are shotguns. Uh, known as a deer rifle or an assault rifle. Which is just... They had a very limited prop pool, but whatever. Uh, plastic cups. What kind of bar uses plastic cups? College bars notwithstanding. This is not a college bar. Uh, and a scathing commentary on the state of journalism. And more bad acting and a bad hookup scene. That's what There's I have. a commentary on journalism. Um, that it's stupid and it's fake? No, I forget what it was. Uh, and that they don't care. Basically, if it bleeds, it leads. Well, no, it had to do with it had to do with like the Hyman Reform School. With, uh, <laughs> or no, you're right. It was like yeah, all, all mainstream news is sad news because <laughs> that's all the that's all that they show us. We, the, the moral of the story is, or not necessarily the moral of the story, but it's a, and it's it's not really. Oh, but, are we trying to find meaning into a scene? Like like no, but the, well, there, no, is, there is a very brief. His... There's a very brief exchange between our two journalists about the state of journalism. journalism. I I do remember that now. But I don't remember the particulars of it, really. (laughs) I love that you just kept going through that and didn't even acknowledge it. That's that's good for him. Plows right through that. (laughs) Unlike the rest, unlike me, who I was like, nope, not going to make it. (laughs) Because. (laughs) It's because he's not five. (laughs) Well, it's because if I didn't, if I let you guys interrupt me and derail me every time, I don't get to say what I want to say. That's, That's true. fair. <laughs> That's true. Especially when like, it's Tyler, who just jumps I, right in there. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> it's me, I'm here. Hello! I don't have notes, but I'm right here. <laughs> Dylan brought notes. I didn't bring notes. <laughs> I've let us down all over again. You used your brain power for one thing and one thing only. I did. I <laughs> packed my cooler with ice. And put beer in it and attach it to my bicycle and rode here. I was talking, I about, was the, so I was talking about the Hyman Reform School. Oh, no. I was so proud of my <laughs> bag with my beer. <laughs> but, uh, yes. So then the news reporter and the guy have sex. Said that does not look like the same hotel room. No, it, it did. Didn't. That's it true. Didn't, it did not. No. What if this was all filmed? on a road trip and these were just random people that they encountered and just filled all those scenes in like the day they were in that town it probably would have been a better movie yeah 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 and then we meet the stoner people from the grocery store in the convenience convenience store 
where Ken was like, I'm 100% sure they're only putting that guy in the movie so they could use the convenience store for 10 minutes. Cause, Did I say that? Yeah. Because you, because they were like, this guy's acting was very flat, and they were like, "Hey, we're filming a movie. We want stuff." Oh yeah. And don't they come at the end though? The stoners. Yeah. They come in at the end also. Well, but no, they're, they're in the, but they're but they're at but the. There's, they there's, 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 there's they have a small the part clerk. There. Yeah. That's right. At the convenience store, his performance is so flat and awful. Like it's it's notably flat and awful. It's like, oh, the only reason this guy's in it. Is because they said, hey, you can be in the movie if you let us film here. And then he tried to hit on a chick. <laughs> and that was just a terrible attempt. Oh, because that, that we, was the we... most real part of the whole movie. It probably was a real thing that happened. Yeah. And they're like, just film it. <laughs> we'll just go with it. Did we go to that little, like, toy store thing yet? Wait, oh they yeah, done, like, the... I forgot about the toy store. Yeah, There's a toy store. The, the, the like, the like yet? little, the like cool. The yeah, he was because the girl people. got raped by Bigfoot. No, I, I th- that I, I have that. that. We're not there yet. Right okay. I have. It I mean, I've been, I, we're, we're we're close. Yeah. Okay, because I think the... I'm close have, to the Bigfoot yeah. rape. I have. Please, Miss Lewis. Yeah, that's this. I have. Please, Miss Lewis. It's important. Gets her. That's 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 what he says. That's what he says says to her. To get her to tell the story that she's been resisting telling for weeks. She's not been telling anyone. Trusted confidants, friends, the sheriff. Ooh. She's not been telling them this story. Ooh. And he just says, please, Miss Lewis, it's important. Really awful. I gave, I have a better delivery than he did. A Facebook tabloid this. Yeah. Woman finds strange man in woods. Doesn't know what it is. Gets dot, dot, dot. What's your notes on the interviews? Uh, either a Bigfoot or the raccoon stole this dude's car. <laughs> Knocked over his trash. Yeah, oh, no, no, he talked about someone stole his car and he's pretty sure it was a raccoon or Bigfoot. <laughs> mm. At least that's what I, I remember <laughs> from the scene. Then we're getting near the end of the movie where the redneck hillbilly inbred people find... Oh, now I have the now. Oh. Wait, I have and the stoners telling the story of how they got high with Bigfoot. Oh, so the Miss Lewis thing was before. It was before the stoners. Uh. uh now yeah. we're on. Now we're uh, on that. Now yeah, these that guys part. have been wandering the woods for two days hunting Bigfoot. Yeah, the rednecks and the hillbillies meet. Oh dear, the inbred hicks, the inbreds, and the rednecks are about to join forces. And they but don't. they don't really, mm-hmm. which is good because. That would have been insufferable. <laughs> Not that this movie wasn't already, but it would have been awful. insufferable. Well, you had insufferable. to embarrass me in front of them. You didn't come from these. Lines. God damn it, Dylan! <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> what movie did you make me watch? I didn't make you watch anything. You made me watch the ridiculous six. That was a classic. No, it's not. A classic can't be from like 2016. No, we're gonna. <laughs> and when they're gonna look back when Adam Sandler's like 90 years old, and they're gonna be like, they're gonna look back at where his six. career went down and when he signed for that deal with Netflix and all his movies. And they're gonna like, like, and they're gonna the say, man, and Jack and Jill. this was a classic. Ridiculous Six and Bazooka Shitting Burrows. He was on to something. I've never. Oh, you should. It's a good one. You're not missing much. Yeah. Fuck I mean, you, it's, Ken. <laughs> it's better than this, but it is better than this. Um, but not not by much. Likes you. <laughs> My favorite way is how they get away from Bigfoot. I mean, they they get the guy to not shoot Bigfoot. Is look a chupacabra. Uh, <laughs> that was the worst. I have <laughs> like what? <laughs> More bad. Low light redneck cave camera work. Oh, because we go into the cave real oh, quick. Oh, the cave was really right. bad. Right, and then the rednecks emerge from the cave and show up at the bar later. Yeah. What did they order? Was it? They ordered the yeah. whiskey. They ordered whiskey. whiskey. And he was like, "You don't, or you guys don't drink whiskey." And today we do. They just found new love for themselves. They made a train. Yeah, and they, yeah, and I have a little bit later. Um. The rednecks are going to tell the tale of how they got molested by Bigfoot. Or how they molested each other. Uh, sure. I'd go well, with Bigfoot. I'm also going to fight. And the Spaz is going to get fired because he won't write the story that he's been working on. Oh, wait, he lets his co worker go up the river <laughs> for coming down in a Bigfoot costume. I said, he totally. 
throws his coworker under the bus. Straight under the bus. He's like, I I don't know who this guy is. (laughs) Kenny was taken advantage of in prison. (laughs) Kenny died. Credits. That's what I've written. (laughs) I was like, (laughs) here's the, the the police were still around, and he's talking at full volume to the to the to the girl. Like, man, I'm glad we got him in jail. Like, you are clearly lying. <laughs> Due process was not involved in this at all. They just looked at the guy and they're like, hey, do you know him? Yeah, oh, he's going to jail. And I'm like, why is he going to jail? <laughs> For causing a nuisance and... Imagine if they do that. I feel that. that's a fire. They now? It, yeah, realistic. Well, I mean, if it's... If, it, you know, if, you get, <laughs> if you get the whole town involved, it depends on... It probably depends on how... How, uh widespread it is and how much damage you are allegedly you allegedly cause and that's true and all that and no ultimately it, it probably is a it's a fine 48 hours in jail big fine thing but but in my story Kenny was taken advantage of in prison and was killed <laughs> poor Kenny poor Kenny alas um, Kenny was a fucking bitch then the last sequence <laughs> is the bartender <laughs> and I have I'm a bartender. I can handle anything. Famous last words. That's my last note. <laughs> my my last note is in the rednecks are going to tell the tale of how the Big how they got molested by Bigfoot. So I want to hear one more apology before I'm done. <laughs> my last note was um, he wanted his bong back from Bigfoot. <laughs> I still want another apology. <laughs> Dylan. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Some things can never be undone. Yeah, I'm well aware. This is one of those things. I called Meet the Feebles. We did two in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad that we did that. That we, that we took that break. <laughs> that we opted to not continue Dude. on the bad movie. On the bad on user. The bad on the bad train. user review. On the bad, possibly bad How user review. talking about? Meet the Feebles was amazing. All right. A three. Go. A three is amazing, Tyler. To me, it is. <laughs> Let's go to the robot punches. It sounds like it sounds like Tyler's Tyler's opinion on Meet the Feebles has improved since watching it. Son of me. <laughs> yes, I you may think it very odd of me. <laughs> Not as bad as Meet the Feebles, but close. <laughs> if this was supposed to be some cheesecake piece, mm. it did a terrible job. If it was supposed to be a slapstick comedy, it did a terrible job. <laughs> if it was supposed to be some surrealist romp comedy, it did a pretty bad job. Like, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, I don't want to say a good movie, but there's a movie worth, there's a comedy worth watching here. And it's this, it's this, it's the journalist coming to town and hearing stories of this, this, the, the stuff that this town blames on Bigfoot, mm-hmm. and either and and and, and uh, you know you, you add a layer of, of interesting to it where you leave it ambiguous at the end whether or not Bigfoot actually did it because you know you could theoretically over the course of the movie say well maybe this character did this thing that this character is accusing Big, Bigfoot of and this character would maybe did this thing that this other thing that somebody else accused Bigfoot of but maybe Bigfoot did do it who knows and so like there's like I said there's, there's a potentially like fun funny clever movie here this just isn't it at all not even a little bit Make. Yes. Bigfoot's a wild sequel. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yep, let's get it done. Alright, Lewis, you're Bigfoot. <laughs> He'd be Littlefoot. He'd be the dinosaur from, from the Land Force. Camera time. tricks. <laughs> yeah. Still. Angles. Stilts and camera tricks. He's gonna need a lot of stilt. Rude. Um, so, ultimately, this movie gets three quarters of a, of a robot punch. Whoa. Tyler? So it's a little bit better than Meet the Feebles, but not much. Or would you like me to go? Um, this is bad. I wanted to die. 
It's been a long time since I watched a movie where I thought. Oh, you obviously this is didn't it watch me. Beat the Feebles. <laughs> this is it for me. This is how it ends. I no longer feel like I can go on. Uh huh. We did two. And what made it worse is that Elijah broke this terrible news to me that we couldn't fast forward. <laughs> we could not make it go in 1.5. I started never, taking uh, notes, and at one point started just writing down on my thing. <laughs> Please, God, end it. <laughs> the best case scenario would be if I had a stroke. <laughs> I want to die. But I found a letterbox review that also summarizes how I feel about this movie. I, I can very much feel the same way. If you ever wanted Bigfoot to chuck beers and stiff panties, this piece of shit is for you. Watching this bumped Showgirls 2 up to a full star. Showgirls sure, 2. <laughs> this person gave it a half of a star. I'm also going to give it half of a robot punch. Uh, this movie has one joke that I laugh at. It was made more tolerable watching it with you two than it was the first time I watched it because Dylan told me to watch it. So I've seen Fuck this you, movie, Dylan. So I've seen this movie twice now. <laughs> Which I would not have watched it the second time. I had to because I because uh, it was for the podcast. We appreciate it, Elijah. It we thank you we for appreciate enduring. your sacrifice. At least thank I, you for at the least Hyman Reform torture. School appreciates your sacrifice. <laughs> we broke it, <laughs> uh, but uh, it's it's still painful. I don't think it was as painful as Meet the Feebles though, because Meet the Feebles just was foul. And Meet the Feebles has production value. Yes. But no story and bad jokes and awfulness. Whatever. This story. Whatever. Has no production value. Yeah. Zero. And. But has a story. It's awful. It's a bad story, but it's a story. Like, it has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And you can recap the story of this movie. So. As to my mind, that's that's why this movie ranks a little bit higher than Meet the Feebles. I think if Rift Tracks did this movie, I would have went and watched it and had a great time laughing at it. But it's just it's bad. It's still bad. And uh, I know I give Meet the Feebles point two five, so this one gets a point five. Dylan, you're up. <laughs> I gotta say, I recommend everybody watch this movie. Don't <laughs> fucking do it! God damn it! We have listeners, Dylan. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I have to put this in the title. <laughs> and, uh, well, it's gonna it's, be called "Don't Watch This Movie." It's ever. too late I like now. God damn it, Dylan. <laughs> it's too late now. But Very yeah, <laughs> you you absolutely have at least my permission. Anybody that listens to this, to. Skip over this episode entirely, and, <laughs> and not ever watch this movie, not ever listen to this uh, this episode. That's fine. That's some issues at the beginning. <laughs> you just watch, listen to the podcast, and just not watch the movie. I do that for all the games that they talk about on the other podcast. I listen to. <laughs> yeah, no. The, and I imagine Is this that movie worth my time? No. It's, it's worth no one's time, but I still recommend it. So, what would you give it out of five? Uh, I give it half star. We don't do, we do stars, stars here, Dylan. Dylan. We do robot punches. We stars. all just said robot punches. Were you listening? Yes. No. It's no. nice to know that Dylan is a, is, a, is a loyal listener. I would like to say that both Lewis and Dylan talk about stars. Lewis, who is part of the podcast. That's sadder. He's the one that actually came up with it. No. Or did you? Who it was me. Oh, yeah, it was Ken. Never mind. And if Ken said a star, I'd reach over his computer and punch him right in his dumb stupid face. Tyler, you should edit that in. I just want to hear it again. What? When Ken created the robot punch. Oh, God, I, gotta find I didn't it. really create the, the first robot episode. punch. Nope, but he created it. Done. It's, but because I didn't watch Creed for the first episode and was uh, talking about nice. Real Steel, which we finally did review, 100th episode, everyone, go back and listen. It's a pretty good one. Let's plug other episodes um, to listen to. Uh, the Meg. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There was an Not episode totally where great. I talked about Not cooking totally a puma good. on a spit. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lewis was so happy about that movie. I forgot that, about that, it. That actually, that episode was a lot of fun. I listened to it. I, I mean, that, 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 oh, that, it was, that, that was, was a, a lot episode. of fun. That was a good episode. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's. Yeah. So Dylan thinks this movie sucks. He's given it a one robot punch. Thanks, Dylan. A yeah. half a robot punch. You give it a half. half oh, you gave it a half. Okay. Yeah. 
He's with me. I already forgot. So Ken gave it the highest. I gave it the high score at three quarters of a robot punch, but only because meet the, I gave Meet the Feebles a half a robot punch. I gave Meet the Feebles a point two five. Because <laughs> I... I gave Meet the Feebles a three. I gave Meet the Feebles that. a half because of production value. <laughs> I remember that entirely. Oh, Lord. Okay, so right. topic... Do we have a topic? Is there a topic? I have none except for Regis Philbin has passed away. Oh, yeah. That was Sad the day. saddest news yeah. I read that day. Because I have another one for the next podcast. It, uh, <laughs> I remember like I six-year-old Tyler at yeah. the beach with his grandma and grandpa at, at, like, at the beach camper thing. And me and grandma would drink coffee and watch Regis Philbin in the morning with Kathy Lee. Regis and Kathy Lee. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah, I had such a great time. And then, Before it became Regis and Kelly. And then and then he did Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And that show was awesome. That show was a phenomenon it was, of surprising proportion. It was like that and Let's Make a Deal. And, and Who Wants that to one, Be... No, uh, my, and uh, uh, You Are the Weakest Link. Come on. Oh, when that, that, that move, show, when that show link, came yeah, out, yeah. it was awesome. I loved it. Like, trying to, like, guess along with, like, the answers and everything. And, and then just how stupid people were. It... It blew my mind uh, when some people would use lifelines, but I also knew more random pop culture stuff. So when that happened, but then I was I bought the game for like the PlayStation at one point. And Everybody like, had that game I was, in some I was form just, or fashion. I was just awful at it. I was like, I'm gonna be great at it. Then I got to like the third to third round. I'm like, <laughs> I'm so bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then I'd be was, like, Mom. That was Regis and Kelly. <laughs> I'm almost at half a million dollars, Mom. <laughs> yeah, it was that was some sad news. It was, but all around here, he was a nice guy. So. I, I've sad. never read anything bad about Regis Philbin, ever. I've never seen anything bad ever about this dude. It's like yeah. Morgan Freeman. I never seen anything bad about that guy. Tom, Tom Hanks. You never seen anything bad about Tom Hanks or Keanu well, that's Reeves. Because Tom Hanks is the savior of the planet. <laughs> Tom Hanks for presidency. <laughs> I'd vote for Tom Hanks. Um, <laughs> Even though I've had I, a firm stance on let's never vote another person that's been on television <laughs> to I, the White House. <laughs> I would... Uh, I, am, I am interested to see what the write-in uh, what the write-in ballots look like this year. Batman. Dylan's vote for Kanye. Andrew Yang. <laughs> that's it. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Oh! Guys, guess what? Guess what? Is it that time of night? Yes, it is. Dylan, you don't know this song because you don't listen to our podcast, you piece of shit. (laughs) (laughs) You know, after this, I was going to thank him for coming. (laughs) (laughs) Now get the fuck out. (laughs) (laughs) Start singing! I can't. I can't can't even read it. It's that time of night. 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 Go to our website, www.thepostmanpodcast.com. You can email us, thepostmanpodcast at gmail.com. Find us on Twitter, at thepostmanpod. Instagram, thepostmanpodcast. Facebook, the Posterman Podcast. It's Letterbox, the Posterman Pod. It's that time of night. And we are now on YouTube. You can find us at the Posterman. It's that time of night. It's that time of night. It was that time of night. It was that time of night. I forgot Letterboxd. Did not. Oh, I wasn't listening and to And was you. there a merch store? Did you talk about a merch store? I did store? not talk about the merch store. Hey, we sell shit! It's on our thing. Purchase. Dylan, thanks for suggesting something. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I, I, would, I would never call it a movie. Thank you for participating in our community. And thank you for donating to the animals. They sent us a message. I forgot to tell you that. I forgot what the message said. No, they sent us a message. The animal, the animal people sent us a message on Twitter. Oh, what did they say? Read it. <laughs> they want us to do it again. They want us to do what again? The charity run thing. To get them $50? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I love animals. I hope that means more movie suggestions. <laughs> uh... It probably we're gonna, we need to take a you break. will die <laughs> we're taking a break from uh you will die we're taking a break from user suggestions i don't think i, could, I, don't think I could find anything as bad as blossom well, <laughs> if you better. want to suggest something suggest something like blue velvet disney new disney not animated Tyler, that i haven't all seen all of your friends are the ones that also suggested garbage that we've watched <laughs> 
We didn't watch Hentai Guy yet. What? <laughs> <laughs> we did not watch the movie with the guy with the lady's underwear on his head yet. No, we were correct. <laughs> That's saved for yet another time. <laughs> but there was no money officially. There no, was no that's money. That's why we did do we're it. Done, we're done with we're all done the, the money. We're done with the financial right? obligations. Okay, good. <laughs> yes. Yes. Maybe maybe around Christmas time we'll give the animals a nice nice present. Okay. November ish. We'll, we'll we'll see if I can remember things and and try to do something nice for animals. I all love right. animals. Yep. Except for that squirrel jet mounted. See y'all later. I love him. Bye, everybody. Fred is nice. You know, this is an audio podcast, Dylan. You can't wave at the pub. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>